nursery school teacher in London. Well, she met and married the Bonnie Prince of Wales, and now she is one of the most celebrated women in the world. People respect her, and they emulate her. So naturally, here in Washington, D.C., there would be a Princess Diana look-alike contest, right? Let's take a look. Presenting their royal highnesses, the Prince and Princess of Wales. Stuart, this is Stuart Hodgson. Better known to we colonials as Charles and Di. Ever since the fairy tale wedding of these blue bloods, Americans have followed the royal soap opera closely. But when it comes to a royal obsession, Princess Diana captures all the headlines. Not only does the media cover her every move, but it seems that some commoners are taking to emulating her style, her do, and her shy smile. In Washington, D.C., these ladies-in-waiting vie for the title of look-alike princess. Winning this crown, actually a tiara, means a trip to the U.K. for the imposter and her prince, a year's worth of hairdos a la dye, and some fashionable frocks. Also, if you'll feel more comfortable, we can pin those after. We'll get some more pins. I think she's a uh, pretty fascinating person. Um, she's, uh, she's got a mind of her own and, and um, doesn't... Uh, no, no, she's, she's a trendsetter, you know, fashion play, and, and uh, she sounds really, really fascinating. I'd like to meet her someday. <laughs> 21-year-old Maureen Murray thinks she's got a shot at the title. She's no lightweight when it comes to looking the part. Notice the regal wave. But hold on to your derbies. With three dozen competitors, the competition promises to be rather stiff. And one of the ladies with us tonight, she's the only British entrant. <laughs> And her name, her name is Lena Griffiths. The atmosphere is frenetic, to say the least. You'd think that the real princess was stopping by for a yard of ale. Telly Cruz from as far away as Korea and, of course, England cover these phony princesses. A distinguished panel of judges look for that certain regal air. British subject Diana McClellan, the ear herself, finds that a die look-alike must possess the proper profile. In English news is extremely important in a Diana because um, Americans tend to have a sort of a universal news and English people tend to like a lot of variety in their news. It's a whole different uh, psychology of beauty. <laughs> Righto, Diana. This group definitely has their fair share of schnozzes. <laughs> The contenders await the royal decree. And now it's time for the winner, Maureen Murray! Let's hear it for your princess! Um, I'm going to enjoy this. It's, it's thrilling to me, but uh, I'm still Maureen Murray. <laughs> I'm not the princess. <laughs> but I'm honored to look like her. <laughs> Just like in the real life of Princess Diana, she's being presented with some flowers. Yes, chaps, the diamonds may be a couple of carats short, but Maureen is definitely a regal ringer or die. In honor of this momentous occasion, the weather provides some London atmosphere. And as in a fairy tale, American-born Maureen Murray departs in true British style. Home, James.